No. A good effect of pressure high up the oh, pitch. Oh, crap. I did not take that. Got him. Oh, he's lost I'll run through here. And space to cross it. He knows. Nice. <sighs> Oh my god. Scoop term, bro. You literally scooped him. I like press B to shoot it and then I press A and like pointed that way and scooped it. Like I just mm, wanted to do a scoop. fake shot to make him fall. But that was sick. Like off the top. I'm a real goalkeeper. Oh. Wrong way. Switching? Yep. Oh my gosh. Save that, buddy. <laughs> 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 that was one of the best goals. Bro. I was just it's watching him insane. go. He went back post, and I was like, "Oh, best save that." And just Did knew it was <laughs> I didn't even look at myself. I have no clue what happened. <laughs>Hey everyone, this is Lesky here, back to another FIFA 21 Pro Clubs player build for you guys today. We have for you the most meta and overpowered center forward build, in my opinion, in Pro Clubs. As you guys can see on this athletic page, I went for the 5'4", 119 pounds. Basically, as a center forward, when you are 5'4", and then the lowest weight, you get 99 acceleration and 99 sprint speed, which is absolutely crazy that FIFA even allows you to do that in pro clubs, especially since you have crazy dribbling with the small center forward and insane finishing. On top of that, your 99 max pace against like the slow computer players. It's absolutely crazy that's even allowed. But this build is insane just because of how fast it is and the insane dribbling and agility stats. And on top of that, even though you're small and don't have the, add that much shot power, you have crazy shooting stats. So now just over to this body page where you can see that we're listed as 5'4", 119 pounds. You can go for 5'3 if you want. It's not going to change any stats. So that's why I have it on the low side of 5'4". Like I'll show you guys right here. If you have it on 5'3", like the stats don't change. If you can just go to... The lower side of 5'4", like this, you'll have a little bit of an extra inch, and you have the exact same stats. But if you keep going to the higher side of 5'4", um, like this, you see the stats will change. And then if you bump it just down a little bit to where it changes to 99 pace, uh, like that, and then you'll be set. So if you're on this body page where you're doing the height and weight, just make sure you're listed on the lower side of 5'4", so you can have that max pace. And then you can either be in the 99, 99 through 119 pound range. It doesn't really matter. I just chose 119 pounds. So feel free to pick whatever you'd like. And now we can move on to the skill tree for this build. So over here on this 99 pace play style screen, as you guys can see, I'm listed as a right forward rather than a center forward. It really doesn't matter what you're listed at. The center forward, right forward, left forwards, they all have the exact same stats. So it's not going to affect it. But I was playing any when using this build and I was only playing with one of my other buddies who was playing as striker and we were playing the 4-3-2-1 formation that has a left forward, right forward, and striker. So I just set my guy to right forward so he would start at that right forward position automatically. So it worked well for me having him at right forward. So it's not that big of a deal. And one thing I did want to note when using this build, me and my buddy actually got the D1 title with just us two um, use, while I was using this build and he was also just using his own striker build. And this was actually our very first Division One title that we actually won with only two players. Like all the other titles we won have had three players or like four or five, but mostly just three players. So this was actually pretty cool since this was our first title won with only two players. And it was with this crazy overpowered best build I've ever used in pro clubs, which is probably the only reason why, just because I was using this build. If I was using another build, it would have been more difficult. We definitely could have won the title, but it wouldn't have been as easy. This build definitely helped. And then on this bottom right corner, you can see this build's an 88 overall. That number's not gonna decide whether this build is good or bad. Like this could be an 85 rated build and it could be one of the best builds ever. Like this, you could have a 90 rated center forward build and it's probably not better than this build. Just because it's a lower overall doesn't mean anything. So don't worry about the overall. And if you don't have as high of an overall as me, you probably just haven't played as much games and haven't got some stats maxed out. And then if some of y'all have over an 88 overall, that would be very impressive. So now moving on to the skill tree, we're just going to start with the physical page here since we don't really have anything at all. So what you're going to want to do, um, if you aren't playing any, you're going to want the second win since center forwards have pretty low stamina because once that 75th minute hits, you get a stamina boost and that'll help you for this, the end game. And hopefully your players won't be on that red bar and screwing you over just because you have low stamina towards the end of the game. So it's pretty clutch that you'll have that second wind. But if you are playing any and you want to use this build, kind of like what I did, I would definitely suggest taking off the second wind 
when I was actually using this build, I totally forgot to take the second wind off, even though I was playing any. So that was a mistake on my part. But what you could do is add it to strength, which I don't think will make much of a difference. It will give you plus four strength for only three skill points, but it's not going to make much of a difference going up from 62 to 66, but you could give it a try. But what I would do is just add it, add those extra skill points onto dribbling or passing and maybe shooting. It's just really up to you for those extra skill points. But I'm going to have the second wind on for now. And as the video goes, I'll show you if, if you play any, like what other options you can do for those extra skill points. So now this will be it for physical. Nothing much to talk about. It's a pretty weak build since you are 5'4 and the lowest weight. So it's not going to be an insane build where you can body people. So just make sure when you're using this build that you can get bodied off pretty easily since you are very small. But again, if you use those high dribbling stats and the pace, like they're not even going to be able to touch you. So that's what's really good about this build. On to dribbling now where we have a lot of skill points since this is a very fast build. You're going to want a lot of dribbling just to make it feel even better. So on this left side, we went to the skills and we got all the agility and balance upgrades, of course, which gets us to 97 agility and 89 balance. The 97 agility with the max pace is absolutely insane. You're definitely going to want that max agility. And then I went for the five star skills and the flare tray on this right side. And that's what also makes it OP. Since you have the five star skills, a lot of the five star skills are extremely broken in this game with the high agility high dribbling stats and crazy pace it makes it even more broken especially in pro clubs and then the only things we didn't get on this page on this right section is the ball control specialty and the dribbling advanced focus which will lose an agility and balance so you're not going to want those and then one thing i would suggest like if you are playing any take off the second wind and definitely add it this is actually what i would do in my opinion Add it to 94 ball control and 95 drilling. Makes it feel really silky on the ball. And then you'll have one skill point to add it on to whatever, which you can add it on to free kick accuracy passing. It really doesn't matter. It's not going to make much of a difference. You can even add it on to one extra strength. But that's what I would do. I would add it on to the ball control focus if you are playing any with this build. So the dribbling on this build is crazy. It's really difficult for the innies or any player to take the ball off of you. One thing I did notice too is if you do the agile dribbling where you hold RB, and um, PlayStation, I believe it's R1. If you hold that while you're like moving the left stick, I don't know if a lot of y'all try the agile dribbling in game, but it's pretty good if you have a dude with really good ball control dribbling and then also solid balance and agility stats. So if they have crazy dribbling stats, basically, the agile dribbling will be even better and more effective against your opponents. So definitely give that a try if you haven't already. And Remember to try and abuse those five-star, four-star skills because a lot of them are very overpowered, and especially when you're extremely quick, you're going to want to. And because doing those skills will help you accelerate past the defender, and hopefully they won't be able to get on, like grab you and body you and push you off the ball since you are pretty weak. That's the one downside of this build. You don't want like a defender to get crazy close to you because they might be able to push you off the ball pretty easily. So this is it for the dribbling page. Just make sure when you are using this build to try it out. And definitely utilize it because that is one of the big bonuses to this build is the crazy dribbling and you're able to beat, beat people pretty easily and create some space for yourself to either uh, get a shot off or maybe play make and make some passes to your teammates. So definitely don't be afraid to try some crazy dribbles with this build. Now on to passing. We do not have anything on this page, which is actually becoming a common theme on a lot of my builds since a lot of the builds already have pretty good passing stats. And one thing I'd notice is if you make a really small center forward, they actually have really high short passing stats, like 90 short pass as a base stat without anything on this page. So you don't have to worry about the short passing. Long passing is not that great. It's pretty low, uh, but it's definitely usable. This isn't a cam build or like a crazy playmaking build. This is more of a just a overpowered goal scoring build uh, that's just crazy fast. So we're not really focusing on the passing ability on this build, but really when it comes to this build, you don't notice the lower passing stats. Like you have 82 crossing, which is actually pretty solid. Again, that 90 short passing is insane. An 80 curve, that's not too bad for base base stats. 75 long passing, like I said, it's usable. And then 77 vision, which isn't great. You'd like to see that a little bit higher. But like I said in my other videos, like when I had the Ebra build, I believe, my 6'4 center forward, he had like 83 vision. It's interesting because if you're taller, you have a lot more vision, which definitely helps make up for the lower passing stats. Unfortunately, since we are 5'4", we have pretty much the lowest vision as possible for a center forward. But luckily, the 90 short pass makes up a little bit for that. 
So this will be it for passing now, and we can move on to shooting. And over here, we went all the way down to the five-star weak foot, because that's what makes this build very meta as well. The five-star, five-star, plus the crazy dribbling and pace is just absolutely insane and overpowered. So what you're going to want to do is go down for this weak foot on the left, and then go down to this weak foot in the middle section, and that'll get you the five-star. And then lastly, I just added a free kick, actually, since this was an extra skill point. But if you aren't any, you could take that off and add that somewhere else. But I just added it to free kick, actually, just to get it up to 85. It looks kind of nice. And it was really just an extra skill point, and I didn't know what to do with it, so I just decided to put it there. But again, y'all could take that off and put that anywhere y'all like. Feel free. Just looking at the stats now for this build, we have 95 finishing. Since we went for the five-star weak foot, we got all this little extra finishing stuff, so that gets us up pretty high. So if you're, on, if you're in the box or even outside the box, feel free to just hit a long shot, finesse shot, whatever it may be. Since you got the five-star weak foot, it doesn't matter what foot it's on. You can hit crazy shots with 95 finishing, 89 long shots. 75 shot power is the one thing that's not that great. But since we are 5'4 and skinny, we have to expect that we're not going to have crazy shot power. So that's the one thing that kind of sucks. But the high long shots might make up for the lower shot power. And then the volleys for small center forwards are crazy. They're pretty much automatic. 94 volleys. Um, on top of that 95 finishing, if you're in the box with a vol about to hit a volley, it's pretty much going to go in every single time. And then the penalty stats, 86, which is pretty good actually too. And then lastly, we have 80 heading actually. I don't know if I got any heading goals with this build, maybe one, but again, you're 5'4", so you don't expect to get any header goals. So we didn't add anything on the heading actually. And then actually you have 80 heading actually as a base stat. That's really not bad for a small guy. And this will be it for the shooting page. As you guys can see, the shooting stats are crazy. On top of all the other insane stats with this build, this just tops it off, especially with that five-star weak foot. You can make passes with any foot, and they'll pretty much be perfect. And then you can just take shots with any foot. Just make sure you remember that you have that five-star weak foot because it's crucial to this build. It just makes it so good on top of those five-star skills. And this will be it for shooting. We can move on to pace. And obviously, y'all know exactly what's going to be on this page. It's going to be the max pace, since this is 99 acceleration, 99 sprint speed build. We had to go for the full max pace to actually get to that mark. So that's what we did. And there's no one's going to catch you with this build, to be completely honest. There's literally no one that's this fast unless you actually come up against another player that has exactly 99 acceleration, 99 sprint speed. Like, I don't even know if you can make a wingback 99 pace. If someone in the comments, if y'all know if you can make a wingback that fast, let me know. But I don't think you can make it exactly 99 pace. So even a small wingback can't even catch you, which is pretty crazy. And in my opinion, this build is the most overpowered build you can make in pro clubs. It's obviously kind of annoying to come up against a lot of these builds. We come up against them all the time in pro clubs. So I just decided to make a build similar and put my own twist on it. And this is it, and it's just absolutely crazy. And as you guys can see, like I said, we won the D1 title with this build for the first time with only two players, and it had to be with this build, of course. Just It's just crazy OP. If that doesn't speak for how good this build is, I don't know what does. And one more thing before I let you guys go, if y'all are playing any with this build, I mentioned I would give y'all some alternatives of what y'all could do instead of the second wind. So what I would do, like I said, is put the ball control focus on, take off the free kick actually, and then you'll have two extra skill points. And what I would do is add it to shot power to get it to 76 or add it to finishing focus, which will give you 96 finishing and 95 volleys. Or you could add it to passing. That would be my other suggestion, which isn't going to make much of a difference. Like, I don't know what you could do. Maybe long passing or strength as well. But I think the best bet would actually be just getting the finishing and shooting up even more. 96 finishing and 95 volleys. Yeah, those stats are already pretty high, so it might not make much of a difference. Uh, but that's just a suggestion. There's really some options. You can also just add them both to free kick, actually. If you want to take free kicks and try and make some, you could do that. But the shot power wouldn't be bad. Or you could even bump up the long shots to 92. So there's a lot of options of what you could do. Um, feel free to choose what you want and what would work best for you. But I just had the free kick actually um, because I was actually using second wind because I'm pretty dumb and didn't realize that I was using second wind while I was playing any. So this is what I had while I was using it. And it works still really well, obviously. But yeah, that's about it. That's your options. Just pick whatever you'd like. And there you go. If you do try this build out, please let me know in the comments how it went for you. 
I have a feeling it went pretty well because this build is crazy. And also, if you got to hit that like button on this video and that subscribe button on my channel, if y'all aren't already subscribed, I would greatly appreciate that. Thank you guys for watching. Y'all have a great sales day and peace out. <laughs>